Today I will show you how you can engrave things, for example, on the wood with T8 CNC machine. To engrave something, we firstly have to design it in Fusion 360. All you have to do is to design what you want, click few buttons and you have ready G-code that you can upload to your machine. It will be really simple and really quick, so let's get onto the computer and let's start designing. Open Fusion 360 and design what you want to engrave. I made a simple box in the dimensions of piece of wood that I will engrave on. Then I emboss my name on it. When model is ready, we can switch to cam view. Choose 2D from top menu and then engrave. Select the tool. I am using engraving tool with the diameter of about 3.17 mm. So I choose that to specify what I am looking for. And I choose the first one. Set all of the feed rates to 100 mm per minute. Select height and for the bottom height choose select and click on the top of our model. Put minus one as offset. Select all of the edges that you want to mill and hit OK. Our program is ready. We can click simulate to see the simulation. If you can't see the stock, just select stock from the menu on the right. Simulation doesn't look very good, but we will use a little bit different tool, so don't worry about that. You can export G-code by clicking post process in the top menu. Make sure that GRBL is choose, put name of the file and path that you want to save it to. Now you can open GRBL controller and open your G-code here. In the visualizer you can see how our machine will work. To mill I will use this engraving bit that was in the kit. If you want to buy this machine you can check out link in the description. If you want to know more on how to assemble it and how it works you can check out link to instruct tables. There is everything you should know about this machine. There are a few things you should consider while working with this machine. This is not a toy, that's the first very important thing because it, it's really dangerous. So it's really good to have uh, safety glasses, make sure that everything is properly connected, everything is properly tightened, the screws are not loose. Also while you engraving, milling or whatever, make sure that the bit wouldn't touch the table or the screws that holds the component that you milling or engraving on. Also make sure that feed rate is proper for the material that you're working with, otherwise you can break the bit. I checked everything and there is no way that my bit will touch any of these screws or the table or whatever. To do the same you just have to go to visualizer in the GRBL controller and go to the maximum on each axis. So this way you will know that there wouldn't be any problems with engraving. As you can see we still have small space between the bit and the material. So we can now using the arrow set it to perfectly zero. For me that looks perfectly. Everything is almost ready, remember to put your safety glass on. Let's start engraving. <laughs>
now we can use a sandpaper to make it look even better. That is so cool. So that's that's basically in the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to my channel. I will make shortly a video about how to use this machine for milling things, small things, because it's possible to mill actually with this machine. Thanks for watching. Happy making everyone. Bye. Oh, oh, oh.